hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about the gauss seidel method in the subject of m1 basically this gauss seidel method is also like gauss elimination and it is used to find out the solution for the given system of equations okay uh, so let us see how to find out like let i'll give you the theory of this and then followed by the problem theory problem both i'll explain in this video itself because it is not so big that uh, theory has to be explained in separate video and uh, uh, you know uh, the problem has to be explained in separate video but it is uh, simple only so first what you have to do is here you don't have any formula you don't have any row operations no column operations nothing it is simple but be careful when you are solving this method like uh, calculation mistakes may go wrong okay yeah so this this is the given system of equations and we need to find out x1 x2 and x3 from this three system of equations okay we have three equations and we have three unknown values to find out so from these three equations in this we have to consider x1 in this we have to consider x2 in this we have to consider x3 that is we need to consider with the diagonal elements only okay so first pick up this equation a11 x1 the first equation so a11 x1 plus a12 x2 a13 x3 is equal to b1 so what you can do is you need a x1 from this equation right so send these two terms to that side it becomes a11 x1 is equal to b1 minus a12 x2 minus a13 x3 okay next what you want x1 so send a11 also to this side so x1 will become 1 by a11 into b1 minus a12 x2 minus a13 x3 okay this is the equation for x1 now in the same way from this second equation you can write the equation for x2 as 1 by a22 into b2 minus you will send these two terms to the other side right you will keep this these two terms to the other side it will become a21 x1 minus a23 x3 okay in the same way if you write an equation for uh, this third equation x3 becomes 1 by a33 into b3 minus these two terms will come which means a 3 1 x 1 minus a 3 2 x 2 okay so this is the general form for finding out x 1 x 2 x 3 this is the general form for finding the x 1 x 2 x 3 next what you will do is you will be doing number of iterations so uh, how to do those iterations I'll tell you iterations is nothing but repeating the same thing so initially consider x 1 x 2 x3 as zeros initially consider all of them to be zero okay so this is called as the initial iteration and in the initial iteration what we will do is instead of calling them x1 x2 x3 we call them as x power one, x1 power 0 x2 power 0 x3 power 0 which means x1 power 0 the in the initial iteration x1 is 0 in the initial iteration x2 is 0 in the initial iteration x3 is 0 like that okay so now what you will get the updated equations for these x1 is equal to 1 by a11 into b1 minus a12 x2 power 0 okay a12 x2 power 0 minus a13 x3 power 0 so this is also x1 power 0 only so here in place of x2 and x3 what you will use you will use 0 okay next x2 power 0 what you will get 1 by a22 into b2 minus a21 x1 power 0 minus a23 x3 power 0 right but here what you will take in place of x1 power 0 not 0 whatever value you got in this step that value you have to take here x3 power 0 should be 0 only initially what we have assumed 0 0 0 so if that 0 is updated then only you can take the updated values got it 
suppose you got here in x1 power 0 you got something as uh, 2 then you have to take that 2 here not 0 got it so what x3 will become 1 by a33 into b3 minus a31 x1 power 0 a32 x2 power 0 here also x1 and x2 which values you have to take not zero so x1 value which you what you got in this step and x2 value which you got in this step those two values should be taken here okay since here we don't have x3 value already previously we are taking zero initially we assume all of them to be zero and then as the values keep on updating we also will keep on updating them okay so this is the initial iteration next iteration will be x1 power 1 x2 power 1 and x3 power 1 okay uh, i will not uh, write it I'll, I'll not write it and show it to you i will di directly go into the problem because it's already um, you know been a lot of time so now let's do the problem we have three equations 10x plus y plus z 2x plus uh, 10x plus y plus z is equal to 12 2x plus 10y plus z is equal to 13 and 2x plus 2y plus 10z is equal to 14 it's not 1 or 2 it's 10z okay so we have three equations and we need to find out the solution okay so by using God's serial method so let's see how to do that first what we have to write we have to write the general form right from this uh, we have to write the general form so what you will write for from this first equation x from this equation y and from this equation z you will find out so x will be equal to 1 by 10 into 12 minus these two will come over the side it becomes minus minus z right and what about this y is equal to if 13 2x and z will come this side it becomes 2x minus z and 10 will come this side because since it is being multiplied to by it will be y it will become 1 by 10 next z also same 14 minus 2x minus 2y and since we have 2z here it becomes 1 by 10 okay so these are the general equations we got for x y and z now what we have to do initially take x y z as 0 initially x y z will be equal to 0 which means x1 in the first iteration let's find out x1 which is 1 by 10 into 12 minus what is the value of y 0 and what is the value of z 0 so it is 1 by 10 into 12 which is equal to 1.2 this is the first iteration okay next in the first iteration only you have to find y and z also so y1 will be equal to 1 by 10 into 13 minus 2x so here in place of x what you have to take not 0 since you got 1.2 here you have to take that 1.2 okay minus z this is not 2z z means we don't have z previously right we have only 0 so 0 you have to take which means if previously you are having any values you need to take that values if previously no values you need to take 0 ok got it so on solving this you will get uh, the answer as 1.06 ok next z 1 by 10 into 14 minus 2x previously you got x yes we got 1.2 next minus 2y previously did you get y yes this is y 1.06 okay so what you will get z dash is equal to 0 0.95 you will get okay done next in the second iteration so in the second iteration what you have to, and how to solve these means you can use calculator in engineering you can take calculator to the exam right if you uh, maybe many of you already know this this is not a new thing but I'm just telling you you can take calculator and you can solve them with calculator that's why I'm writing directly okay next in the second iteration what we have to do we need to find out x power 2 okay so x power 2 will be equal to 1 by 10 into same 12 minus 
y power 1 minus z power 1 which is nothing but 1 by 10 if possible here also you write this gen formula and then substitute so 12 minus what is y1 1 1.06 and what is z1 0 0.95 so what you will get uh, is 0 0.99 you will get okay next second iteration y power 2 which is 1 by 10 into 13 minus 2x min 13 minus 2x so in place of x what you should take here means you need to take x power 2 because the previous value see for y what we are substituting x right 2x we are substituting x how many values we have we have 0 we have x1 we have x2 among 0 x1 x2 which is the latest value x2 is the latest value right so you need to take the latest value always x2 minus z z do you have z2 no you have z1 and you have z among z and z2 which is the latest one z1 so you need to take z1 okay like that the latest values you should take so 13 minus 2 into 0 0.99 minus z1 is 0 0.95 so you will get the answer as 1.005 okay next z2 is equal to 1 by 10 into so for z what is the formula 14 minus 2x minus 2y right so 14 minus 2x minus 2y x and y what you have to take here x again x x1 x2 among x x1 x2 which is the latest value x2 so 2x2 next y y y1 y2 among y y1 y2 which is the latest value y2 so take y2 like that okay 1 by 10 into 14 minus 2 into x2 is 0 0.99 minus 2 into y2 is 1.005 so you will get the answer as 0 0.999 okay so this is the second iteration in second iteration we got x as 0 0.99 we got y as 1.005 and we got z as 0 0.999 now we will do the third iteration you can stop at third iteration okay for any problem you can do up to three iterations and stop So in the exam what I suggest you is here I forgot to write the formulas like this general formulas I forgot to write you write that first and also do not do them like side by side like this this should be in one step this should be in the next step and further calculations also you do okay so that it will take some space that is the trick okay I, uh, maybe you already know uh, now third iteration in third iteration we will find x3 okay 1 by 10 into so what is the formula for x 12 minus y minus z so y and z what you have to take before x3 what are the values you have for y and z for y you have y y1 y2 among y y1 y2 which is latest y2 is latest so y2 next among z z1 z2 which is latest z2 so z2 you have to take okay which is nothing but 1 by 10 12 minus y2 is 1.005 and z2 is 0 0.999 if you substitute you will get answer as 1.00 okay next y2 so y3 so what is the formula for y 13 minus 2x minus z okay write the same first 13 minus 2x minus z so 2x should be x x1 x2 x3 which is latest x3 and z z1 z2 which is latest z2 so take z2 so 1 by 10 13 minus 2 into x3 is 1.00 z2 is 0 0.999 you will get the answer as 1.00 again okay next z3 z3 what is the formula 14 minus 2x minus 2y so 14 minus 2x minus 2y x power what you have to take 3 because x x1 x2 x3 which is latest x3 y also y3 because y3 is the latest among all 
so substitute 1 by 10 14 minus 2 into x3 is 1 and 2 into y3 is also 1 you will get the answer as 1.00 again 14 minus 2 minus 2 14 minus 4 10 10 by 10 1 so like that so now what is the value of x 1 y 1 z 1 so this is these are the values of x y z once you solve that okay so you can stop it at third iteration and even though if the values of x y z are not equal also even though they are in decimals also whatever it is you can stop at the third iteration for this problem we got three of them as equal but even if you're not getting them as equal you can stop the iterations at third iteration got it so if if you are getting this exam uh, this problem in the exam do it without fail i guess this is not so important but in case you're getting it in the exam do it without fail because it is very easy only calculations you have to do if you are careful with the calculations nothing else you need not worry about making the diagonal elements uh, the lower diagonal elements as zero or uh, rank finding the rank finding the solutions nothing just calculator you have you can use and you can finish off this problem so easy it is uh, so that's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you're still having any doubts, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to clear it. Let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic.